Hello my beautiful hammerheads and welcome back to another Warhammer Plus Animations review. This time Black Talon episode 2. And yeah, as I presumed yesterday, uh, the side characters get a little bit of the limelight. And this time it's Hendrik. Because in episode 1 it was Lorai, the Isherin Idenith Deepkin Soul Scryer. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and now we have Hendrik, the old wise man who gives advice, gets the mission from Sigma to go to Stormwald, which is currently occupied by a Soulblight Gravelord's vampire. And yeah, well, start the Penumbral engine and yeah, well, get rid of the Soulblight. I do what is required of me in Sigmar's name. The trick here is that the fortress of the Soul Blight, uh, which name I already forgotten because it really doesn't matter, it's generic enemy number 365. And <laughs> yeah, well, the fortress of this vampire is basically a little hammer hull. It's it exists in two realms. This one is in Spanning Gyron and the Amethyst realm. Attack in one realm and she goes through the gate to the other. Gyran and Shaish. And of course, when she is attacked in one realm, she just walks through the realm gate to well the other realm. And so our heroes have to divert and attack on two fronts. And in the most part, that's the story. It's how they get into the fortress, how they act on their plans, which is nice. It's nothing really groundbreaking, but we don't really need groundbreaking here. It's another 25 minutes episode. But the thing here is, um, first of all, the animation is still great. It's just the same thing I mentioned in episode one. There are just one or two spots in the animation where it's clunky. I don't know why, because the rest is so fluid. Maybe it was just missed, happens, all right. Um, because it's a blink it and you miss it moment when Hendrik turns a key. Somehow <laughs> he does it twice and in, on both instances, it's clunky, so I don't know, but that's fine. The rest is great. So this is really just nitpicking here. So the real interesting part here is again, first of all, the theme memories and how they are affecting us, uh, not only us, everyone, and how memories define you, haunt you and stuff like that. Memories are a funny thing, are they not? They can define you, and they can damn you. This one I really liked, and the mystery of who this vampire really is. Because there are hints that Neve and this vampire have a history together. Maybe this is one of the hints they dropped in episode one with the axe. Um, maybe my thought was her mother. But I don't know, we will have to see. So yeah, I'm intrigued with the story. Um, it's just slowly starting up. Uh, maybe a little bit too slow uh, because it's just six episodes for the whole series. I will have to wait and see for episode three. Maybe there is more for it. But yeah, as of right now, intriguing, but I want more, which is kind of a good sign for me but this episode kind of checks most of my boxes we have humor in it what? in multiple instances some of which is unintentional <laughs> but still funny funny is funny for me and uh, the animation as i've said is great the camera work is also great there are just one 
or two instances again, uh, not with the animation, but with probably the direction, there are awkward pauses in conversations. To protect their secrets, every storm vault contains a penumbral engine. Such devices are designed to wash away their memories. And this kind of took me by surprise again, because the rest is so great. And this was like, why is she pausing? There is no reason to pause here. There is no suspense. They're just talking to each other. But yeah, enemies, we get to see what we're expecting. We see the vampires, we see human servants, and well, of course, skeletons, because that's what a Soulblight Gravelord's army basically is. There are no zombies or necromancers or anything else, which is kind of surprising, but again, 25 minute episode, uh, we have to well, compress what we will see. I kind of have the feeling that we got more in episode one. So more stuff happened because in this one, it's kind of like Ocean's Eleven when they're just planning and executing the plan. And the plan is just get inside, do the thing. That's it. And I don't want to spoil the great conversation between Hendrik and the vampire because it's first of all intriguing, it builds up mystery, so the dialogue and the story are the best parts. The rest is just bonus that it's awesome. She doesn't know, does she? All in all, I don't know, it's a little bit weaker than episode one which is kind of to be expected because you want to pull people in with your first episode and so they're sticking with the series. So this for me might be a 7 out of 10. Uh, oh, and I forgot um, on how Hendrik is getting the mission, basically the quest to do the thing, is he gets struck by lightning of course, because Stormcasts, everything has to do with rain, lightning, thunderstorms and stuff. But what I think is interesting is that every Stormcast is feeling something else when Sigmar is talking to them. We have in several novels when they get the honor to talk to the God King where, uh, and they're just like, oh, he's so amazing or stuff like that. And with Hendrik, it's just it's pain. I'm old. Just leave me be. <laughs> so that was my feeling for him. Hey. So, yeah, sadly, I, as I've said, I can't talk much about this episode. I don't know if this is a good thing. Um might be bad. My initial feeling right now is, as I've said, a 7. Which is not bad, it's good. I watched the episode, I have a good feeling about it, and I want to see more. And isn't that the goal of, well, a series? You want to see more of it. So, yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow with episode 3. And not episode 6 with the last episode being released tomorrow. But yeah, as I've said, every day one episode for me. But yeah, what are your thoughts of the second episode of the Black Talent series? Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below. I am keen to know what you have to say. And while you're down there, do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is fun. Have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated and I will see you in the next video. Bye!